I started off in the retail trade and then um, I went into the bank also. Well, I, I went to Liverpool University and then I got a degree and I started working in the defence industry in Bristol. I took early retirement, so, um, but we fill our days by gardening, we've got plenty to do there. We like walking. Stephen was our eldest son, he was born in 1967. We had our second son two years and four months later. Uh, well, for the first few years, of course, they ran about and played like other children do, and um, uh, Paul managed um, to master a two-wheeled bicycle. Uh, Stephen was much quieter. Well, Stephen really was like Jerry, and I think Paul was <laughs> in character, and I think Paul was more like me. I'd had a brother with muscular dystrophy, so I had some tests done before I was married, and again after I was married, before we had children, um, which were all negative. When Stephen started at nursery school, um, there were steep steps up into the house where it was held, and I realised that he was um, typically putting his hand on one knee to pull himself up the steps. So I, I thought then that that was a, you know, a clear sign of muscular dystrophy. We then went to the children's hospital and Stephen was diagnosed, um, so they asked then to test Paul and um, that was a bigger shock because we hadn't really realised. You know, when they give you the diagnosis and say your, your children might be in a wheelchair by the age of 10 and if they get to their 20th birthday they'll, you know, they'll be lucky. It was, it was quite shattering, wasn't it? When we got the diagnosis, we thought, oh, what are we going to do, we see? And we thought, well, I'm sure there must be an organisation which would help. And we discovered the muscular dystrophy. And there was a branch in the Bristol area, so we contacted them and uh, became involved with the fundraising because we thought, you know, the best way to help the boys would be to raise funds to hopefully find a cure in time for them. Stephen died. Um in Salisbury actually, we were on our way home from a weekend away, we'd been to my aunt's 90th birthday party. Uh, we went into the hospital because we could see that poor uh, Stephen was ill. And um, he died a few hours later. And one of the, so the worst thing for me, one of the worst things, was having to drive home with an empty wheelchair in the back. That was quite hard. Paul died in July and Stephen in November. I would like to see a cure for all dystrophies. I'm hoping that it will occur in our lifetime. I mean, we're now in our late 70s, so I would, I would love to see a cure. Yes. Hope, hope must lie yes. in research, I yes. think. Yes, that's the only way we're going to find a cure, is it? We've decided, um, obviously, to leave something in our will. By leaving a legacy to the muscular dystrophy group. We shall perpetuate the memory of our sons, for one thing, and um, hope that uh, they will very soon find a cure.